What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl MJ. Today I'm going to show you my makeup routine. As you can see, I've got a little problematic skin. I did a facial yesterday and it's a little pissed off, but we are going to cover it right up because I got some good stuff. And yeah, let's get started. This is the moisturizer I use. I already did my skincare routine this morning, um, so my skin is prepped and ready to go. Next, we're going to use this amazing stuff. It's kind of messy, but um, this stuff, best coverage. Holy cow. My sister put me on this, and it's amazing. Um, SPF 50 plus as well. So um, if you're outdoors, I love the outdoors, so you got to protect our skin. So yeah, we are going to spread this shit all over. I'm gonna just do like a little bit. this okay, a little bit more it's been so long since I've gotten ready to like I'm so excited to finally get cute for you guys all right so we use our blender brush to just blend that in like the coverage y'all crazy makeup is pretty fun um and now that we got summer coming up and we got the world opening back up a little bit we're gonna be out we're stepping out and it's time to have some fun you know we had a winter hibernation we were just chilling and you know the coverage though unbeatable but I am gonna look a little ghostly on here. And I'm honestly gonna go out of order a little bit because I want to do my eyes right now before um, I put on like powder and stuff. But I'm gonna get this shit off my lips a little bit. So like somewhat. Yeah. Okay, so eyes. Like I said, I'm not like a huge like makeup guru, so I just don't have a lot of like the latest and greatest stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that. I use this um, palette for my eyeshadow. Um, nothing too crazy. We're gonna come in here with, we got here. I like this color, the scone color. I really like neutral colors. Um, I like to be as natural looking as possible. So scone for like my upper, whatever the fuck it's called. So we're doing some scone. We gotta do a little tap tap. Like this is fun. I haven't done my makeup in so long. Looks pretty good. Do a little bit under, even though I'm gonna put concealer on. But looks good. And then I'm gonna come in with a darker, um, probably this crumpet. Yeah, because I like to be as natural looking as possible and it's morning, so it's not like we need to be like dramatic or anything. So come in there. In that crease. But it still kind of gives it like a little smoky eye. Yay, I'm excited. This is fun. Blend it out. Nice, it's looking good. I just love the coverage of this stuff. Like. Your skin but better CC cream color correcting and full coverage cream so it's like anti-aging and hydrating serum and SPF I mean come on come on okay so now we are gonna do wow am I gonna turn into like a makeup guru because this is really fun this is fun okay so I need to do lime I usually get a little water and then I'll just go with the posh, the black, the darkest one. Get a little water. Just 
So we're just gonna do that for now. And then we'll wing it out in a minute. You know what guys, I might be onto something here. Well, makeup. Okay, so now let's attempt to wing this. Okay. And the reason I didn't want to do my powder is because you see how the, the dark is coming onto my face. And with this new skincare routine I'm doing, it's like extra extra absorbent. So um, it's really hard to wipe off. Cute. I forgot to add like a little color in my lid so i'm going to do a little sparkle i think with prestige that one just a little bit just to give it a little sparkle to be honest it might be a little dark though so we're gonna go up to palace Use this little doodad to blend out the black if I need. I'm loving it. And now for the top mascara, I use this, the Volume Butterfly. But I need a new one, it's getting a little crusty. And that's not good. Okay, it sounds pretty good. Well, got the lashes. See how I fucked up a lot on like my lid? There's a trick and I'm sure you guys all know the trick, but just to use like a spoolie to get it off instead of ruining all of your hard work with the eyeshadow, so. Now, for the rest of the face. I'm gonna try to get this shit off. See, oh, see I fucked up. I'm just gonna wipe it. And redo my under eyes. Okay. Now. Now we go back in with this guy. And we'll be putting concealer under our eyes, so it's all good. Next, for some concealer. So I use the CoverGirl. For under eyes, I'm gonna do this guy, the lighter one. And then for like my zits and stuff, which I have a few of those. Um, I'm gonna come in here, get under my nose, get the zits. And 
and we are going to use this little brush to just kind of work in there. Boom. Work it in, work it in, and then we'll come in with the blender and blend it all out. Cute! Use this guy just to dab it in. Really press it in there. Blend out the neck. And now for some powder. I've been using this stuff for forever. I think since high school. Like not the same one, but like this stuff. Um, yeah, I love it. Come in here. I need an end to this brush, but whatever. And then we're just gonna lightly blend everything together. I really get it in there and then Tap off a little bit. I personally like um, a more matte look. Just cause I can get a little like shiny and greasy. So I just don't wanna look like shiny. Good, good. The spot where I took it off and then tried to put it back on is getting a little funky though. And then we blend it out. The neck. I know how to fix that. I think I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this on. And I did not like that. This is why you do your eyes completely before your face. It's okay. We will get there. Next, a little bit of browns, contours. I use this. Y'all know what this is. And I'll use the medium just to do like my cheeks. A little bit of my neck. A little bit on my forehead. Nothing too crazy. Don't really like to contour like crazy amount. Going crazy. And then I'll just kind of get it on the cheeks. This eye is fucked though. Awesome, okay, next. Blush, love my blush. I use Lorac. It's very pigmented, so just like a little bit. And make sure you get it off and then gently brush your cheeks. You will end up with a like a red dot if you just go into it. But I love this color. Oops, that one's a little dark. And then we'll just blend it out. And honestly, there's probably a lot better ways and strategies to go about doing your makeup than I'm doing. I'm not, like I said, I'm not like a makeup guru, but this is what I do. So we're just gonna add a little bit more blush up here, just to even it out a little bit, blend it. Just 
Next, a little highlighter. We use this Becca. Mine is completely out, why? Because I drop it, but there's a little bit in the crevices, so. Just gonna get those cheekbones, on the nose, eyebrow, lips, collarbones, cute. And then just blend it out a little bit. Okay, here's what I do now. Take a makeup remover wipe, get my lips. I hate when makeup is on my lips. Get my lips, get my beauty mark. Get the brows. Vaseline. I love Vaseline. Oh wait, first we take our brush and just powder those a little bit. Then you got the Vaseline. Next, we are going to finish the lashes. Um, so use your spoolie to get the the excess mascara off without ruining your eyeshadow. And then we are going to finish, we're gonna do a little under eyeshadow with the scone. The only thing I don't like about my makeup is this. But that's okay, we'll figure it out later. Um, and then we're going to take the mascara, do our under eyes. Boom. And now for brows. So, I actually just bought this. Oh, hey, what's up? You can see me now. Oh, you did. Well, you can see me filming. Hey, can you see me again? Oh, what I do? Anywho, there's me. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so I got this. Um, and we're gonna give it a go. It's this um, this like eyebrow wax or whatever. So we're just gonna bend it a little bit. Our spoolie. Dab, dab, dab. Love it. Um, we're gonna film in just a little bit. So I will use this guy again. Let me go wash it off. And we're gonna do, oh yes, the crumpet again. We're just gonna do a little bit in the front. A little on the curve. I am trying to like grow my eyebrows out more. Um, but yeah, so far they got some good shape. I used to pluck the shit out of my eyebrows. I will s show a photo right now. So I've come a long way with the brows. I plucked my shit from like starting here. Photo coming your way. Beware. You will cringe. So I think those look good. And then we're just gonna give it another little brush out. Blend it. I 
And last but not least, the lips. I use NYX. It's like soft spoken, but it's pretty, um, not dark, but to be honest, it matches my lips perfectly, so. This line. The actual lip itself, we're not doing, we're not trying to fool anyone here. I use the sharpener that had the black lip liner, so it's got a little. Black in it. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, shit. And then I have this color, um, Cover Girl. Maybe just to brighten it up a little bit. Ooh. Summer. And then I like to go in with my Vaseline. And give it that glossy look. And then, last but certainly not least, setting spray. We got NYX, the matte finish. And that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed my makeup routine. I think I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Probably because it's the eyes and the lips a little bit, but um, no, yeah, this is what I do. Every single time that I have a date, go out, go drink with my friends, I will do a little lighter version if I'm like doing outdoor stuff. Um, yeah, I don't do all of this when I'm going hiking or snowboarding or to a pool party, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. You learned something. You learned what not to do, whatever. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys later.